Good day everybody, this is Ragnar Maniac, and today I'm gonna be reading a speech that I made. I made this when I was RPing with a friend that this character was going off like giving up, the world is broken, what's the point, going to hell and such. And my mind was going in a rant after watching a movie and doing after that RP, and I made this. So... Hopefully you will enjoy it. So, let's begin. Your name has power. How you represent that name defines who you are. I don't care about the money. Yes, it's vital to live in this world. But the more important thing is how do I make the future? How I represent myself in this world? How do I make an impact? There is a song I like that is a fan base from Undertale. A YouTuber named Nathan Sharp. Nate wants to battle. The brave and foolish ones... They walk not on the center. The signs are pointing every way, and I don't know which route's better. Some will take the fall, some will see tomorrow. I could be the light or darkness, redemption or sorrow. There is many ways on how you can live your life, but how you live it is what matters. Like one unknown quote, How the world defines around you is by how you define yourself in the world. And dang it, I want to represent the goodness in this world that the world has forgotten or corrupt to forget. Some may not be that strong and not want to fight another day, die from natural causes, or die fighting for something. But may I ask you, if you do go one day, how do you represent yourself in this world? Have you done things to make it better? Have you tried to help others make a better tomorrow? Or at least tried to help someone out of the darkness so they have a better tomorrow for your sacrifice. And how will you be remembered by that? By your name. Name has power, and what you did will be held in that name. And I want to be remembered as someone who helped others get out of the darkness, or at least ease the pain a bit, to live just a little longer. Like a therapist, who helps find their happiness in, the, in this dark world. Everyone has the right to happiness. I am a scaly and not ashamed of my sexuality. Other words, I'm a pervert. But I know my limits and know when not to push it too far. <laughs> I'm a bit of a comedian, a jokester, to at least make someone laugh a day if I could. The only thing I want to do is at least I want to have the person I am with have at least one good memory of me is all I ask. To be remembered that I try to make them happy as best as I could. And if I could at least make a difference to one person out of this world to have a better tomorrow, then it was worth it. And there is one friend that has this character who has a bad life and has given up hope, thinking there is no better future, knowing how broken the world is and believing that she is going to hell. So she is giving up. So you want to be in the names that people has given up? Well, if you give up, then surely you'll never go to heaven. But there is one saying I heard, that no matter what, you're going to hell. This was from a TV show, Lucifer on Fox, that I watched. And some don't believe heaven, hell, and think you just die in the end. So, they end up being mean to others, or don't believe in something and give up. So, even if we are going there in hell or no longer exists, so what? And how did you represent yourself in the world? To be a someone or a nobody? The only thing is how long you can enjoy your life while you still can. I'd rather put my name in this world to be remembered, not forgotten. From what I've seen, the villains usually are the ones that get remembered. But dang it, I will fight to keep the good names as best as I can, and or help someone who ha to have a better tomorrow. In this world, people rather see monsters than the people slash things behind it and maliciously attack it for being that. And there are some with mental disabilities that they can't control themselves at times. They can turn mean in a flick of a switch or have a side of them that comes out and attacks you. I had a few cases and stories that's been told to me about that. I can't always be that strong for them and have failed a few. I am just human. I hope they find the strength to get through life, find someone to help guide them out of that, or ease the pain just a bit, if love and kindness was not enough. Sometimes, it takes more than that to get through life, or love and kindness, 
is just what you need. If you can't help yourself, at least help someone else. You need to believe in something to fight for another day. Find that belief. And my belief is true love. Without it, what's the point of living? People have many beliefs and opinions on what true love is. Some may think it's just weakness. It can make you vulnerable a bit, yes. But for me, it makes me mentally strong and have great willpower to fight another day. I believe in real love, not fake slash manipulated love. Forcing you to love something you don't actually love for the sake of survival? Like one song, Angel with a Shotgun from the Cab says, I don't care if heaven will take me back, I'll throw away my faith, babe, just to keep you safe. Don't you know you're everything I have? And I want to live, not just survive tonight. Do you want to be selfish and only care about yourself to go to heaven and be mean to others who don't follow your ways and think you'll be accepted for your rudeness, for your faith, your beliefs, or given up and not made any difference to at least someone for a better tomorrow, or you controlled by hate? There is one quote I use a lot. I imagine one of the reasons people cling on their hate so stubbornly is because they sense once hate is gone, they will be forced to deal with the pain. James Baldwin And that's how you want to represent your name. Your name you hold have power. How you use it defines you. Choose why and how you represent yourself and how you make your mark on this world. And dang it, and I will enjoy my life as I can. Live it as happily as I can and make a difference before I go. I want my name to be remembered for doing good and making a difference for others. And I'd rather suffer with the pain than to be mean to someone else. Because I am more mentally strong to fight another day. I use pain to help power me to help someone to ease their pain a bit. The others who are mean, not wanting the pain, are weak and are rude to others for that. I am not like that. At least I suffer through the pain for the sake of others. Someone who actually cares and actually loves you for who you are. And I don't care what you've done or the darkness from your past. How you get out of it and how you make yourself is what defines who you are, not your past. Ignore the monster hunters. they rather hold on to hate. I use my inner demons slash devils to make a positive change for someone else. That's what matters to me. Real love. A better tomorrow. A positive difference for someone. My real name. Thank you all for watching and reading along with my speech. I hope this motivational speech helped you fight just a bit longer and or help you fight to help someone out of someone's darkness area. Everyone has demons inside them and how you get out of it is what matters. So it will be great if you pass this message along to help others fight harder for a better tomorrow. So thank you all for watching. This is Dragon Lover Maniac flying off. Bye bye.